So this is very juicy story that went online, you know, viral totally, about a lady who, having sacrificed herself, a career, and practically gave up her life for over a decade for this man, now found out that her mom was sick. Her mom was needing a surgery that would cost about 20, 25,000 Ghana cities. Her mother-in-law was sick. Mother, no, her mother. So her, her mother-in-law died, and her husband now said that the money I have, I would rather spend that money my on burial. my mother's burial instead of trying to save the person alive. The, the husband wanted to spend the money he had on doing a befitting burial for his mother. His mother. Right. While his so, mother-in-law While his mother-in-law was sick. So two weeks after the mother-in-law <coughs> died. In the waiting period before the mother-in-law died, she had to go and meet her ex-boyfriend before she got married and asked the man to help her with the money she needed for this surgery. As a loan. As a loan. The man said that I'm not giving you a loan. What I want from you is the other room. Hmm. If you do the other room, I'll give you the money to take care of your mother. And because she knew that she had no other option, the, the, her husband had abandoned her at that point. This is a husband that she had sacrificed everything for the marriage. Now told her that he will spend the money he has on burial rather than taking care of his mom, of her mom. At that point, she agreed to do the do with her ex. Hmm. But she was on her period. And the man insisted that even despite her being on the period, they would go ahead. Hey. So she said that two weeks after her mom died, and every time she has a period, she just remembers <clears throat> the agony she went through, having to sell herself and her body, her body to get money for her um, mother's treatment. Her mother's treatment. Another side of the story now says that she later found out that the husband rented an apartment for his girlfriend. All of this happening when she was hustling for money. Anyway. So the woman decided to take law into her hand and created a scheme of revenge, taking a period, a menses, and cooking with it hey. and gave the man to eat. And gives him regularly. She says she gives it to him regularly. And every time the man is eating her a food that was cooked with her menses, she feels a sense of satisfaction that at least I am doing something back to you. Because one thing is for her, every time she has a period, she remembers the sacrifice she had to make. Now, everybody here is looking, ew, ew, ew. But <laughs> this, is the, this is the girl's story. Her story is that I had to do revenge. This marriage of a thing eh, is full of sacrifices. Mm. We just have to prepare our minds. Somebody was saying something on my wedding day, and I still remember. It says, was the, uh, the woman preacher who preached on my wedding was telling my husband that this you are picking today as your wife to stay and to stay forever. Whatever you see, you have chosen. Nobody chose for you. That marriage is more like a gift. Is when you get home, you see what you have been given. Is what your rib has produced. So you have to find a way to work it. Now, marriage is full of compromise, sacrifices. And unfortunately, some people are selfish. I will call that man very, very selfish. He put, himself, yes, he put himself first before his wife. He did not see his wife as a part of himself. That is his own fault. But for you to now want to do your own revenge, and use menses to cook. And see, if you are tired of that marriage, pack your things and leave. This is just a simple case of um, when the law doesn't step in. I mean, if you're in America or, you know, the other decent societies that we talk <laughs> about, when a woman is unhappy or a man is unhappy with the marriage, they have different ways that they can dissolve it. Mm. And when it's dissolved, you're able to go home with either half or something. So you're not completely losing. So but when you are in a society that does not recognize that when a woman leaves the home, she has to live with something. Or recognize the women, contributions you're yes, making. Yes. So women, look at Bezos, Jeff Bezos, that gave his ex-wife almost half his billions. She's a, you know, a billionaire by divorce. The thing is, knowing that she would not be bothering herself putting all sorts of concoctions in his food because she knows what it would, you know, what she would get. So for me, I think, I don't think this is revenge. I don't think it means anything because he's eating, he's still healthy. I just don't know. It's eating blood. It's so, just blood. I mean, eating... I mean, see, yeah. see, they do other things even, even more intimate than that. So for me, that is not anything. She's not doing anything. What she needs to do, really, because this story is really sad and obviously the man has no, he has no love for her, does doesn't care about her. So she needs to find out how to sit down and meet a proper divorce lawyer and find out how she can get some peace and leave. That's what, the way I see it because what she's doing is nothing. This is plain stupid. She's a stupid woman. <laughs> Number one, she's stupid in not saving for herself and giving up everything for a man. What if he had died? Just what if? It's not about him not giving you back. 
happen. But life can happen. Mm -hmm. It can actually die. You should. A woman should have a so life. So set aside something for yourself. For not be rainy days, stormy days. So her mom being sick, where I am raised, and I don't want to do Islam, so they don't say it's a religious woman. You don't use the process of such thing for any good cause. It will bring the ill luck into it. If her mom was even going to survive, the process of a prostitution would not allow it. That, that's how I was raised. That one is separate. Now, if something like this happens in a marriage where you think you've given everything, there's another chance, another opportunity. You've now seen the man that you're married to as the beast that he is. It is strategy. Cooking for him and all these things. You're not saving up. You're not even, in this whole story, I read it over and over, and I still do not see where she has a where plan. She's, mm. she's still a stupid woman. No revenge. Plan. Revenge, yes. I don't blame her. She can actually have a revenge and say, okay, now let me see our joint account. How can I take the major part? How, let me see our this. Let me see how our business. How yes, can I get to, majority? But, but let me think. Let me. Let me, let me. Mm -hmm. uh, she's dumb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. There's no, what does she gain by doing that? Mm -hmm. She exactly. debases herself, mm -hmm. and she's getting nothing in return. Exactly. So either it's you know it's either of two things. You go the full length, the whole hog. You kill mm -hmm. him, or, <laughs> or you stay with yeah, him. Yeah, you know, if or you're you going to be that on. brutal, mm -hmm. or, you or you move, move on. on. She's debasing herself by doing such. It's it's sorry. It's disgusting. Yes, it is. Even the totally thought agree. of it. So, totally agree. I just don't understand it. Mm -hmm.